Hello sports lovers, welcome to Mets Sports TV. In today's episode, I'll be bringing you several sports updates. But before we get into it, kindly adhere to all COVID-19 protocols in order to keep safe and also press the subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Press the thumbs up button to like the video and also watch the full length of the video because it helps grow the channel. Thank you. First, I'll be talking about Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz Jr. as a former unified champion of the world. He is the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. He won that position or he got that position by knocking out Anthony A.J. Joshua 1st July at the Madison Square Garden where he was a quick replacement for Gerald Big Baby Pharmacy Miller after he had filled a drug test for G15 and other drugs. He has been inactive for a year. The last time Andy Ruiz fought was 1st December 2019. He fought at Saudi Arabia and that was for the rematch in for the rematch to the fact that he captured the heavyweight championship from Anthony Joshua on 1st July. But Andy Ruiz has not fought any. Since then, he's had disciplinary issues. His former coach, Manny Robles, stated that after the fight, and he said that Andy was not disciplined. They flew to Mexico in order to have strict camp, but Andy Ruiz kept skipping camp, having fun, and chilling in town so Andy Ruiz lost his discipline and could not stay focused he said when money entered Andy Ruiz said he could not stay focused and focus on the boxing game but Anthony Joshua kept his composure and defeated him by putting up a boxing masterclass uh, Andy Ruiz now is signed with Tim Canelo that is Eddie Reynosa he is now Andy Ruiz trainer and he would be looking forward to being in his corner for his next fight. But Andrew Ruiz, during this year that he has been inactive, has turned down fights with Ruiz Ortiz, then with Dillian, the body snatcher fight, in which they went back and forth on Twitter about. But hey, I have seen him train these days. He looks in fantastic form. He has dropped down in weight. So let's see how his next fight goes. I think Andy Ruiz should be in should fight by March 2021. 20, the next fighter who has been inactive, I'll talk about is Richard RC Comey, the Ghana boy. Richard RC Comey, this is one guy whom I've had several chats with online and he seemed like a nice person since he lost his belt to to a female lopez he hasn't been in the ring after that bout he came down to ghana and he was caught in the lockdown so he could not travel until the president lifted their ban on traveling and since then he has been in camp training and his next fight is on february 30th against jackson Marines. Jackson Marines is a Dominican fighter who last fought Ronaldo Romero. Yeah, in that controversial unanimous draw, even Teofilo Lopez, who is Ronaldo's best friend, said they should rerun it. But hey, Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo is scheduled to fight another person, and uh, Richard would be facing Jackson Marines. So Let's see how that fight goes. I tip Richard to win because he has richer experience than the guy. He, he knows the boxing terrain more than him. And he has a great background, great coach in his corner. And he has been working hard in order to make weight for the fight. And watching him train online and watching the posting by his management company, Street White Management, I think Richard would be putting in a fantastic performance on that day but what could the one year layoff be to Richard I don't think it will have enough effect on Richard because he, he last fought in December and it's just a little over a year though it's enough time to get rusty I think 
after after three rounds, I think he 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 will get the ring rust off, and I think by the seventh round he would be able to KO him, and he would be back on top of the food chain because right now the likes of him and the game boy Tego has overtaken him on the rankings. He is now ranked I think eleventh or so, so I think he wants to come back into the limelight and compete for a world title again because his dream is to become a two-time world champion as stated by his management company streetwise management another guy who has been off the ring is Manny Pacquiao Manny Pacquiao is a legend no doubt but he's over 40 years I think he's over he's almost 42 and a year without fighting can have a lot of effect on a lot of brain grass his muscle though he may be training senator is focusing on pulling philippines out of the ditch of the covid 19 so he has there has been a lot of inactivity on his path in terms of boxing the last time he fought was with keith one time chairman so i think that's a long time ago and with his age i think activity would keep him at the top though he's still the wba waterweight champion he is scheduling to fight either Errol Spence Jr. or Kenel McGregor. I think if money takes the Errol Spence or the Crawford fight, which he was originally scheduled to fight Crawford and the fight ended up being postponed due to uh, COVID-19, I think Manny Pacquiao would be in my all-time top 10. And even if he takes the fight and wins against either Crawford or Spence, then I think he'll be in my all-time top five. Because this this is a guy that has faced the likes of Miguel Cotto in their prime, Antonio Margarito. He has moved eight weights and has beaten champions, Mariales and the likes. He has beaten a lot of champions. Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Oscar De La Hoya. These are guys who, who are at the top of the, of the boxing league and he beat them in their prime. Though he has seven loss a loss to Timothy Bradley, a questionable loss, a questionable loss to the Australian Jeff Horn. Then some of his losses are questionable. So I think if Manny Pacquiao is able to shake off the ring rust that his that he has and faces either Terence Crawford or Errol Spence Jr. I think he would be in my all-time top 10. But if he's able to beat any of them, like, like he's saying Errol Spence is too slow and he can easily beat Errol Spence, if he manages to do that, he is in my all-time top 5. Another fighter I would like to talk about is Chris Urban Jr. Chris Urban Jr. last fought on December 7, 2019. He has been out of the ring. He has had his own issue. That is... With the PBC, I don't know why they are not giving him fights. PBC has organized a lot of shows, but they've not given him fight. He has been, uh, but he is also saying that he w- he would like to fight Billy Joe Sanders at 160, but Billy Joe Sanders has now moved to 168. There's a whole lot of controversy. I don't think that fight would happen soon. But Chris Ruben Jr., he is not a world-level fighter, to be frank. I don't think he's there yet. He's good enough. He can give everybody and anybody competition. But if he meets a slick boxer, he is missing because he's a brawler. So he can't f- so I don't see him beating Billy Joe Sanders, it's the likes of Canelo and Gennady Golovkin because these are guys who can box. Gennady Golovkin can box him with his jab and keep him at bay all, all day. And besides that, Gennady has a lot of power. Chris Ruben Jr. has not faced the A level competition that I think the only top the top guys he has faced is Billy Joe Sanders who, whom he lost to then uh George Groves whom he also lost to George Groves who was at the later stage of his career was even able to beat him and in the last round you you, you could see the desperacy of that fight in the world boxing super series he, he looks very 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 desperate and he did not know how to control 
at a point in time he was, he was without a trainer he's now with Roy Jones I don't know wh- how and what their, their plan is but I don't think Sanders is a world level fighter and his ring grass would affect him if he's calling out the likes of Gennady Golovkin and wants to fight with them and you are not in, t- in tip top shape I don't think you deserve it and because you would be beaten these are guys who would not to go slow on you they are coming hard and they will be coming to hurt you so i think chris Ruben jr ring grass to affect him now that he has moved from the pbc he's back with the sunderlands and i think it's time for him to get serious he should stop living in the in the shadow of his dad his dad has done his the most eloquent man in boxing he has done his the junior must focus on himself get out there fight sign good deals and get fights than hiding behind the name of his father and making mistakes and giving excuses for everything that is happening and doing wishful thinking i don't think it would help him he's now the wba interim champion so i think he should focus on the super champion and try and get that fight but he will not get the Gennady Golovkin fight that is to be frank with you because he has, he has he has been calling out Gennady Golovkin for over four years now and has not gotten the fight another fighter is Arthur Betterberg Arthur has been out of the ring because of injuries and now he is after his after his unification bout against uh, the Ukrainian Alexander I think he he has been a little bit under the weather the, the injuries keep recurring uh, it is the guy that has beaten the likes of Sergio Kovalev and the amateur so he's a top top fighter he's the number one guy at light heavyweight division and and he's a dangerous opponent to fight just that if he if he's able to conquer his injuries I think the fight is being rescheduled to be held in Russia. If he's able to overcome that, he's unstoppable. He's, he's the reason why why didn't Canelo go for him and went for Kovalev. That it would have he would have given Canelo a, a run for his money and Canelo would have felt the pain. But Canelo went for an easy touch and watched Kovalev. Do I give him all the credits? I've given him all the credits in previous from being a four time world champion. I don't think if he faced at a better bridge, he would have still been a four time world champion because that guy would give him a run for his money and would have given him pain, pain, pain. Now, to other news speaking of. Sergey Kovalev, he has tested positive for synthetic testosterone. So that means his fight has been cancelled. He was scheduled to fight on January 30th. That fight is off. Vada was communicating that to his team, Valletta, and it was chanced upon by Dan Raphael, the former editor, boxing editor for the ESPN. So his fight with Bektamin has been cancelled and we don't know the punishment thereof that will happen. Kovalev is facing a lot out the ring that means he's in the court he's in court then being being slapped with a minimum of two years ban at his age I think <laughs> if he doesn't come up with a good explanation his boxing career may just be over. And the last payday against Canelo was his last. And Ryan Garcia has also called out Manny Pacquiao. He says he wants to face Manny Pacquiao after beating Tank Davis. He, you have not gone through the first hurdle and you are thinking about another hurdle. Tank, Tank Davis would be a handful of food for him. He and Tank Davis did a live on Mike Tyson hot box in and it was very interesting to see both young lads wanting to fight each other it would be an indirect way of Oscar De La Hoya versus Floyd Manny Mayweather both both guys would be backing their man but I think Tank Davis will come on top because he's a 
he's a hard hitting guy. If Luke Campbell could drop Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis will break his jaw. That I'm very certain. And now to football. Manchester United are on top of the English Premier League. This is the first time that has happened since the departure of Sir Alex Ferguson. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side uh, won their outstanding match against Burnley at Turf Moor with a fantastic Paul Pogba deflected volley. So they are, but they are facing Liverpool this weekend. If they are able to beat Liverpool, they will go six points clear at the top. I don't think I personally don't think Manchester United would win the league, but I think they would compete for it. That's all for now. Kindly subscribe to the channel, press the like button, watch the full length of the video, and watch our video recommended for a friend. Thank you. Stay positive. Au revoir. Bye-bye.